Hey guys, um, these episodes have kind of been fun to make, so I figured I would just keep going. Uh, where I left off last time, I showed you guys uh, about the various different types of data types, and I uh, was just getting into operators, so I figured I would start talking about operators, which um, are things that you can use to perform arithmetic and modifications on the primitive data types, which I just showed you guys. I also added um, another function call to a system function from standard I.O. Uh, this one waits for the user to hit enter, really type any key and hit uh, any character and hit enter uh, before quitting the program. It's just a way of um, providing a little bit of um, input or interaction with the program when they run it. So now instead of just immediately ending, they have to hit enter. Um, I'm not going to go too much into standard C and standard I.O. during these episodes, at least not for a while, just because there's so much stuff and so much of it is all about the console, and I plan on moving into graphics pretty quickly, um, because for a game programmer, working with standard I.O. is really boring. But um, before I get too far, um, I want to at least go over the basics before I, I get into that. So, um, operators. So operators work on the numeric types, and just about every type in C can be and usually is regarded as also numeric. You know, even even characters or chars, which are letters, can be added together because they're integer types. Um, everything can everything is data in C. Everything is bits and bytes, and 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 every byte can be represented as a char, and therefore it's, it's numeric. It's all binary. So. Um, Let's just go over and list some of the operators. I'm probably going to miss them all because I'm not like looking at a reference card. I'm just doing all this from memory. So um, let's just start over here with int. I'm going to start my int is 5. And I'm going to have a y. I don't know why I did That's what I had before. Um, so the first one, the first operator is the assignment operator, the equals. Um, that just sets a variable equal to something. Uh, the types have to be the same. So while this thing on the right, which I think is called a literal, has is an int, uh, it has to be the same type as what you're assigning into it. For example, if you uh, use a float literal, um, you're going to get, well, this is C, not C++. You, sh you might get a warning. This will end up being 3 um, because it truncates the, uh, the non-integer part. Uh, let me do something that makes even less sense. Let me uh, assign it to a string. That should not work. Okay, um, well, let's just move on, you know. <laughs> They're warnings. They used to be errors back in the day. Um, C, is, C is a lenient language. It lets you do things that are stupid and don't make sense, and uh, if you're not careful with it, um, it's the reason why programs can crash uh, if you do things that are wrong. Um, anyway, so that the assignment operator, you can assign something. Uh, the next kind of operator is the add, which makes perfect sense. It adds two things together. Um, there's also subtraction. Um, there is, as you probably can guess, uh, multiplication and division. Um, they follow the standard order of oper operations from math class. If you don't remember, just look it up. Um, Math is not that fun in school, it's actually kind of stupid, but once you start learning how to make a game or program, you actually start realizing that you care about it because it actually like is useful to you. Um, so those are the four, those are some of the arithmetic operators. I know I'm forgetting some of them. Um, there is uh, assignment and at the same time arithmetic operators, which usually just offset or increment X uh, by a certain amount. Uh, so all of those have their equals versions. For example, times equals, minus equals, divide equals, uh, minus equals. So you have all those. Um, there's also uh, one of the most, I guess you can call it famous ones, just because it's a pretty easy shortcut. If you wanted to do something like this, or that, um, the third shortcut is actually just plus plus, which increments x by one. Um, all those three statements, all, I'll do the exact same thing. Um, it goes the other way, um, which is, you know, the idea with C++ is it's actually kind of a joke. It's like C plus one, or like, you know, they added to it. Um, 
so there's those kind of operators. They're called uh, increments and decrements. Um, some people that are like smug about programming will do this if they're not going to use the return value. Um, the biggest difference between x plus plus and plus plus x is that um, these things actually have a value. So for example, this um, can be assigned into something so that the result of x plus plus is actually um, the, the value of x before the increment. So like if x is 5 and you do an x plus plus, after this statement, x is 6. But the value of x before it gets incremented is 5. So like z will be 5 here. But if you did um, this, uh, it does it beforehand, uh, and then it increments it before. So it'll become 6. Uh, so the idea with using the X plus plus x is that it, in assembly code it doesn't waste the data to store the value beforehand but um ever since like I've been programming in the 90s it just isn't that big of a deal to waste uh, one assembly register um, I just really got off on a tangent though so um, you have your plus pluses and your minus minuses uh, to increment something uh, what other operators are there I think I've covered all the ones that are important um, there's the dreaded ternary or tertiary operator question colon. I'm skipping that for now because it's kind of weird. Um, it took me a while to learn how to use that one. Uh, there is, oh, not. Um, so not kind of has to do with truth values and logic, but if you have int, um, I'm not going to declare, no, I'm just going to use x. So if you have x is equal to zero, zero in computer science is often referred as false when you're thinking of truth values and uh, one or anything that's not zero is often referred to as true or you know uh, true for logic and truth values so um, not will flip all the bits in a value and um, I think that's right so if you do something like this um, X will flip itself to become zero uh, which I think is right. Let me prove that actually. So we should get zero when I run this program. Or I really don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you ever forget to put a backslash in, you'll know quickly because your program will look stupid when you run it. And uh, I'm quickly realizing that this is annoying too, so I'm turning that off by commenting it. Yep, result is zero. It was one, we knotted it or reversed it, and that's what the not operator does, is it reverses the truth value and it becomes zero. The only reason I got confused is I started thinking too much in my head about bits and bytes. So if it's zero, you can guess that it will become what? You would think it would be one, and it is. So that's the idea of uh, the not. So those are the basic operators. There's some more of them. I'm sure is slipping my memory. There's probably like one I'm going to hit myself in the head when I'm done with the video. But um, long story short is they're used to do mathematical and arithmetic. Oh, all the bitwise ones. Yeah, we're going to skip those for now. Um, those. So when you're working with C, you're working with numbers and, and the opaque types like integers. Um, when you get more advanced with it, you can actually get down to the individual bits within the values and do some pretty cool things with that. But that's a lot to take on when you're just starting out, so we're gonna leave that out. Um, you'll see them someday, and then you'll look at them and wonder what they are, and, and go find a, a website that tells you. So that's the basic gist of operators. Um, let me see where I'm at with time. Jeez, these videos go fast. Um, I'm going to end.